producer Adam Kinson from Kinson, Alabama, doing a great job here. Brought your mom and dad, Robert and Nancy, to root you on. Yes, Hopefully, you're going to be giving your your dad a kidney to help him out. I know he's yes, got diabetes, and you want to give him a new lease on life. Yes, ma'am. So yeah. far, so good. You got up to that thousand mark, so you're ten away from the million. Take a wow. look at those categories. Mm -hmm. You're going to be working with, and you also have the right to ask our expert, Entertainment Weekly senior writer Dave Carver. So are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's play. All right, Adam. Questions now getting harder. Thirty seconds on the clock instead of fifteen. Category is yoga. Two thousand dollars. Which of these flowers has a common yoga pose named after it? Linden, lotus. Lavender, lilac. So I have to go with the lotus. Final answer. You should be calming yourself down. You got it right for two thousand dollars. <laughs> sing, sing, sing. Four thousand dollars. When repeated three times, which of these words does not become the title of a top forty pop song? Fun, say. Bad bye. Fifteen seconds. Wow. I think I'm gonna have to ask the audience on this. Okay, let's stop the clock at twelve seconds. Audience, Adam needs your help. On your keypads, vote now. Forty-seven percent believe it is bad. Less than fifty there. Twenty-nine percent say say. You have twelve seconds starting now. Well, I think I'm going to go with the audience. We'll go see final answer. Yeah, it is bad. You have to. <laughs> thousand dollar question in the 2008 comedy get smart special agent maxwell smart battles what sinister sounding organization evil crime rotten chaos i used to love this show when i was uh, watching reruns when i was a kid and i saw the movie uh, we're going to go with the chaos final answer yeah it is chaos <laughs> <laughs> You know something about Hannah Montana because that's going to be your category when we come back right after this commercial. Back with Adam Simpson, our history instructor, getting married in nine days to Rachel. I didn't mention before that your dad is going to be your best man. Sure. Also, didn't get a chance to ask you where you're going on your honeymoon and whether this cap one check for eight thousand or however much you make today will affect. That final destination. Well, we're planning on going to Savannah, Georgia, okay. spending a few Lovely. days there. And uh, yeah, if, if I get some money out of this, maybe we can go eat uh, at a better restaurant than we might normally be able to. <laughs> You'll be staying in your room anyhow. Ah, uh, well, you know, I, it's, right. it's true. It's all true. <laughs> well, you're seven away from the million. You're going for sixteen thousand. Let's take a look again at all those categories. Beginning, I mentioned before, you're going to start off with Hannah Montana. How do you feel about that one? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I hope it's about Montana. <laughs> about Montana. Oh, okay. Well, we're about to find out. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. All right, much. let's play. <laughs> 30 seconds on the clock. Hannah Montana. Is it about Montana? Let's see the question. Uh -huh. In 2008, teen queen Miley Cyrus caused a minor scandal when she posed for racy photographs in what magazine? Vanity Fair, Rolling Stone, Vogue, Seventeen. Boy, oh boy. Uh, let's ask the expert. All right, we're going to freeze the clock at 22 seconds and bring in our expert, Dave Parker, with a free face-to-face -face Skype video call. And there he is standing by. Welcome again, Dave. Thank you so much. I hope I do better this time. Adam's going for $16,000 right now. Okay. I'm going to feed you the question now. All right. Oh, Vanity Fair. That, that's a breeze. You sure? Oh, yeah. This is my, this is my industry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you, you mean if you got it wrong, you'd be really bad, huh? Yeah, I would feel like a complete idiot. Okay. But I feel pretty confident that it's Vanity Fair. 
You all right with that? I'm all right with that. All right. Thank you very much, Thank Dave. you, sir. Yeah. You have 22 seconds on the clock, and the clock is starting right now. Well, he's a magazine guy, so I'm going to go with a Vanity Fair final answer. Yeah, he's also a very smart magazine guy. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Lifelines left. This is for twenty-five thousand dollars. You won't be able to leave with less than that if you get this one. Primarily known only by his first name, the famous Dutch artist Rembrandt had what last name? Van Rijn, Bruegel, Boonvalt, Vermeer. Well, I tell you what. Thank you, Scholar Bowl. Uh, we'll go with uh, A. Van Rijn. Final answer. Yeah. Big thank you. You have twenty-five. away from a million dollars. Wow. Wow. <laughs> How are you feeling? Uh, I'd probably take off if I brought all the butterflies in my stomach. Really? Okay. <laughs> yeah. so. Looking at the categories, 45 seconds on the clock. Let's start with South America, 50,000. One of the largest estuaries in the world, South America's Rio de la Plata is located between what two countries? Ecuador and Peru. Uruguay and Argentina, Colombia and Venezuela, Brazil and French Guiana. Rio de la Plata. Uh, I think I'm going to have to phone a friend on this one. All right, we're going to freeze that clock at 29 seconds. And let's take a look at who you have standing by. Oakley, your sister, a barista, your boss, Michael. And Glenn Allen, a former chemistry professor, and now a colleague at the college you teach at. So who's it going to be? I'm going to have to give Glenn Allen a call, I think. Glenn Allen? Yes, ma'am. Okay, we're going to get Glenn Allen on the line. Hello? Hey, Glenn Allen. Yes. It's Meredith here from Millionaire. How are you? Well, I'm all right. How are you? I'm very good, and Adam's even better. Glenn Allen is going for $50,000, but he needs your help. All right. All right, Adam, you have 30 seconds, and your time starts now. Hey, Bobo, the Rio yeah. de la Plata is located between what two countries? I've got Ecuador and Peru, Uruguay and Argentina, Colombia and Venezuela, Brazil and French Guiana. you got 17 seconds. Uruguay, what's the other, what are the choices again? Ecuador and Peru, Uruguay and Argentina, Colombia and Venezuela, Brazil and French Guiana, seven seconds. Uh, Uruguay and Argentina, I'll say I'm about 75% sure. Thank you, sir. <laughs> about 75% sure B, Uruguay and Argentina. You have 29 seconds. Clock starts now. I'm pretty sure he's right. Let's go with B, final answer. Pretty sure? 100%. Almost 100% sure. You got it right. <laughs> But look where you are, 50000 going for 100000 next time. Yeah. And we hope you join us then. Until then, from New York, everybody, bye-bye.